hey, hey, I'm gonna show you how to host your Webflow website for free. Once you've built your website, what you need to do is you need to export the code. Click this button right here, and then there'll be an option to prepare the zip, and then you can download the zip file. Once you have the zip file, if you open it up, you can see what's inside of it. You should have your HTML files, your CSS files, your images, and your JavaScript files. Now that you have this, you can go to Netlify.com, create an account, and then you'll be able to import the code into Netlify. So you can take your zip and drop it right into here. It'll take a second and then it'll load. Once it loads, it'll give you a Netlify link which you can view the actual website. So if you click Open Production Deploy, you can see your finished website right here. And it's really as simple as that. Now, if you wanna connect it to a custom domain, what you can do is you can go to Domain Management, and then what you can do is add a domain and then put in your domain and follow the steps. So it'll have you add an A record and a C name record in your DNS wherever that's located. But once you do that, you can publish it to that domain and make the www your primary domain. And then you can also add HTTPS because they give free SSL certificates. Some things you wanna check are the links, images, and forms on the new sites. In the past when I've published websites, the links didn't go to the correct page, so I had to type them in manually in Webflow and then re-export them. There's a help article on Netlify site to set up forms to go to the correct email for notification purposes. And then images, you'll just wanna make sure that those are coming through correctly as well as videos just to make sure that they're working properly. And that's really all there is to it. Now, one thing I do wanna mention is if you have a CMS, the CMS items will not come through to this Netlify site. The reason why is because Webflow CMS is not compatible with Netlify CMS. Netlify has a separate CMS system. So if you want to set up a CMS in Netlify, you'll have to go through their system. You'll have to reset up all that. And then you'll also have to export all your blog posts or your CMS items out of Webflow and then re-import them into Netlify. Hook up everything dynamically again. So just keep that in mind. I recommend only publishing websites that don't have CMS to Netlify. I personally just take the hit in Webflow. But for every website that I don't need that, I'm using Netlify. I'm hosting for free, saving a couple hundred bucks each year. So hopefully this helps you. We'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.